If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this episode 15 of Performance Engineering series, today we are going to see about two utilities, JMAP and JCMD. In last couple videos, we have seen how we can identify different types of Java performance issues, how we can identify and analyze the issue, how we can deep dive and try to fix the issue. But starting from this video, we are going to see the tools like uh, JMAP, JCMD, JPMS. So those tools we are going to deep dive into the commands and how you can use those tools for your analysis purpose. First, let us see about JMAP. JMAP prints your shared object memory maps or heap memory in the command line output. Whenever you pass your process ID of your Java application and if you sending JMAP command, then it will print the relevant heap details. These tools comes with JDK package itself, but you have to just keep an eye on that. Sometimes they will remove or deprecate the tools in the future updates. So you have to make sure the utility is available across your multiple versions so that you can keep using your utilities. So why I'm saying this, for example, you might be creating some automation or some shell script or batch script. And if some of the utilities are getting deprecated, then you cannot use it for your future purpose. So you have to always keep an eye on the latest version, whether you do have the package or not. So you have to just check it out in the bin folder. So all these utilities, you can see it in your Java package slash bin. And next we are going to see about the frequently used commands in JMAP. Whenever you invoke jmap h, it will display your help commands. That is your starting point. That is how you will learn what you can do with the tool. Frequently used commands is dumping your heap dump using the dump and the format equals b means a byte and dump live means it will dump only the live objects. Similarly, you can print the histogram and if you just send a live along with your histogram, it will just print the table view of your live objects in the histogram format. And then you can get the finalizer info. If there are any finalizer in your Java program, you can uh, just get the information from the command line. And also if you want to see the classes information, you can use the CL stats. So every command always you have to pass your process ID. So this process ID, you can find it from your task manager or using uh, JCMD. So there are a lot of ways you can find the process ID. You can also use uh, Visual VM or uh, Java Mission Control. So there are multiple ways you can get the process ID. Next, we are going to see JCMD. So here you can see the annotation capital J capital C because I took it from the GitHub. If you just Google uh, JCMD GitHub, you will get the JCMD.java. So there they have mentioned uh, JCMD with uh, capital J and capital C. And this utility will help you to diagnose your JVMs. So you have to pass some of the flag information. Then your JCMD will just uh, apply the command and then it will just uh, reflect in your JVM. So this JCMD has uh, one restriction. You have to run your JCMD command, whichever machine you are running your JVM. You cannot uh, remote it. So that is the one important feature to know in the JCMD. You can start learning JCMD using the hyphen H command. And again, like JMAP, JCMD also works along with your process ID. For example, if you want to know the flags of your JVM, then you have to pass your JCMD and the process ID. So this will display all the flags applicable to the particular JVM. Then you can pass your flag like for example vm.version or uh, if you want to take some garbage collection, uh, you can pass gc.heapdump and then you can pass your file name. So like this, there are a lot of commands available. It is not possible to go through each and everything. So I'm just giving you only the scratch of the frequently used commands. But how I will learn is usually I go with the hyphen h and see what's going on in the help. Now let us see a quick demo how we can get started with JMAP and JCMD. As usual, we have two terminals. So on the right side, I'm going to run buggy app. So we are going to pass a problem underscore thread leak. So this problem statement we have not seen. Probably in a couple of videos, uh, we are going to see this thread leak, how you can uh, analyze the thread leaks from your JVM. So now I'm going to hit enter. So now the application will start. First, let us see about JMAP. Before you begin JMAP, first you have to get the process ID. To get the process ID, let us begin with the JCMD. So here, whenever you type JCMD, you can see there are two process IDs. One is for the JCMD itself and then for your buggy app. Buggy app is 31656. So let me just copy this. 
and first command is we have to use uh, jmap hyphen h so this is your starting command so here it will display the usage how you can use the jmap and also the options now we are going to take the heap dump so to take the heap dump what we can do is we can pass jmap hyphen dump and we have to mention the format so whenever you use the options you have to separate by the colon and here the format is bytes and you have to use the file name so you have to comma separated value file equals say a dump here dot hprof and you have to pass your process id so process id in this case is 31656 and if you hit enter this will take the heap dump and then it will store it in the current directory now if you type ls you can see dump here dot hprof is here now let me remove the dump because it is a very huge file so i don't want to keep this next we are going to see only the live dumps how we can take the live dumps you have to just change the one of the tags here to live so you have to add the particular flag dump colon live now if you hit enter this will create only the live objects dump now if you type ls you can see your dump here dot hprof now let us see the histogram so how we can see the histogram again jmap histo and you have to pass the 31656 this will display the table view let me zoom out so here you can see the table view i know it is very small but uh, there are a lot of uh, objects are there that's why it's a very big table so now let me just uh, clear this similarly you can also view the live objects using the colon live so this will display the live of your objects in the histogram format similarly if you want to print the finalizer info finalizer uh, info so here it is saying no instances waiting for the finalization found so that is valid one similarly if you want to display the class stats you can just type cl stats and hit enter it will display all the classes so this is how you use jmap for your process id so that you can uh, analyze what's going on so this will be very helpful if you are automating some stuffs you can use the jmap next we are going to see about uh, jcmd so again jcmd just pass the raw command like jcmd you will get the process id of the running uh, jvms so here again you have to start with jcmd hyphen h and if you hit enter it will display the options so let me start with a very simple one so jcmd and then uh, the process id is uh, 31656 and if you hit enter it will display all the options of this particular jvm so here you can see for example uh, if you want to take garbage collection you can use the gc.run uh, if you want to take the heap dump you can uh, use the heap dump or heap info you can use the heap info and similarly you can see the vm info vm logs vm flags you can set some uh, vm set flag so you can use some of the diagnostic commands so i want to change some settings you can use the jcmd you cannot use jmap for that so here uh, let me just uh, uh, enter 31656 again and let us get the uh, vm info so you have to pass the uh, jcmd and then you have to pass the exact uh, flag here let me type uh, vm.info and if you just hit enter you can see the, all the details about your vm similarly you can get uh, vm.flags uh, so this will displays the virtual machine flag so what and all options we have set for the particular jvm so you can see these, these details so here it will displays importantly the algorithm so by default it uses g1gc so this is where we can see your algorithm and other details so what heap memory have set what is the meta space so everything you can just see it here similarly you can also set some of the flags using the set flag you have to pass it properly otherwise it will not work similarly we can see the uptime so to see the uptime you have to enter the vm dot uptime so here it is displaying 315.998 seconds again if you send it again it will, you can see it is incrementing for every elapsed time so this is how you use the jcmd to send some of the diagnostic commands for your jvm and analyze what's going on similarly let me take the uh, garbage collection so gc dot run so this will take the garbage collection suppose if you want to pass the uh, heap info or uh, heap dump you can pass the gc dot uh, say uh, heap underscore info so you can see the uh, heap information so this is how you use the jcmd to analyze and uh, deep dive into your jvm that's it case on my side if you have any questions please check me in the comments and thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to QA Insights channel.